Hey, so what's up YouTube? Um, how's it been? CG09. I know I've been gone for two weeks, but um been very busy with my life. Let alone my personal life. Sorry about that. I was a little distracted, a little fuzziness in my hair. But uh yeah, I've been hearing noises and shit. <laughs> Not paranormal, but you know, it is what a fucking is. Sorry for that long few seconds of introduction. TV's on really loud. Excuse me for that. But before I get started, video is brought to you by fucking Reese's Pieces, awesomest shit in the world. Throw that shit to the side. Hot Pockets, which I basically live off this. Nothing tops Hot Pockets off of this shit right here. Taco Bell Extreme. It's not really new anymore. It says it, but it was like four months old. Thank God it's still in preserves. So, uh, yeah, I get away with that shit. Um, yeah, gotta eat it. Gotta eat it to live. Get it how you live. But uh, yeah, before I do get started, um, I just want to say um, I actually am. This video is actually going to be in my movie reviews. I know I just say this on my Nintendo fan page, 2011. It came Nintendo Free 2011. And I haven't done it in a long time. That is my little baby dog. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, um, if you hear any noises in the background, excuse it. Hopefully, like in the hat and the shirt, and I'll do it all the time, but it is what fucking is. But, um,. Yeah, just to let you guys know, this is the dog right here, making lots of noise. <laughs> excuse me for it. But, um, yeah, anyways, ew, excuse me for this. Sorry for so many goddamn bloopers on this goddamn phone. <laughs> this actually isn't my flick cam. This is my flick camera, but you get the idea. I'm going completely sidetracked right now. But, yeah, what I wanted to talk about today was a movie review. I actually saw this movie a few days ago. It was like Friday, Saturday this past week. It's the thing. Very amazing movie. I never really saw the original one because it was 82 and I was born in 89, so really don't remember it that well. And if they did make remakes of cartoons of it, <laughs> I don't remember them that well either. So yeah, if anyone knows a girl from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, um, Ramona Flower, she's in it. She's the main character. She's the one that's supposed to be discovering the body of the thing, which they don't have no real official name for it, so they just call it the thing. And it takes form of the people that's around it. It's kind of like that zombie thing off of, um, anyone's ever saw Zombieland or even Resident Evil games? If any of you ever played those Demons or Silent Hill, any of those games, RPGs, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like that kind of monster, so you get the feeling what I'm talking about. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, very amazing movie. Five thumbs up, you know. You know, like the movie. Very amazing. Catch his shit on Facebook. It's very awesome. And actually, I think they're going to have a sequel to it because they showed... One of the last living things, I am going to spoil it for you, this lone wolf dog thing or whatever, it escapes and the guy tries to shoot it, his name's Lars, they speak Norwegian language from Europe, I have no idea what they're saying, so they got the translations on the bottom, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, so they might have a sequel next year, you never know. Uh, yeah, there's also Kurt Russell, i never really seen too many of his movies except maybe A Beautiful Mind. Actually, no, scratch that, that was Russell Crowe. So yeah, that's enough for the movie review, very amazing movie, check the shit out. I might do another review on it, maybe later on, maybe next week, tomorrow. I know I did say I was going to do a Saturday, but like I said, my, my schedule has been busy as shit. So I've literally been not able to make videos like crazy, like I normally would. But with all that said, um, now let's talk about Occupy fucking Wall Street. I know this thing has been going on since September 15th, 16th, I don't know, right after the anniversary of 9-11. You know, with the banksters like Ben Bernanke, Nancy Pelosi, Tim Guy, they're all those dipshit assholes that don't give a fuck about us, basically. Because they're the fucking goddamn 1%. We're the fucking 99% working our asses off if any of us are even lucky to have a job, you know. Thank God I have one now. Thank God. <laughs> That's a whole other topic video. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, all I got to say about that is um, any of you guys are fans of George for Title, Fabian for Liberty, Sea Green TV, Alternative Media, you know, Tattoo, and um, Barry Own. Even Chris, you know, he's a very awesome dude. Subscribe to his video. Him and his wife are real fucking cool ass people. Gotta give you a shout out on that. He's also doing a contest thing right now. He's got this big giant copper silver thing. So I'll give you a shout out, man. Very awesome videos you make. You know, thanks for the updates on gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. Very much appreciate it. I'll put a link on the sidebar down here. Maybe around an annotation or whatever, but... Very amazing videos he's got, you know, with the Wall Street thing, you know, they really don't give a shit about us, basically. You know, in Greece, I heard that shit's going down a lot worse than it is in the U.S., so <laughs> it's probably only a matter of time, because Greece, Rome, Italy, France, Paris, 
most of Europe and London, they're fucked up real bad right now financially. You know, the financial terrorists are right over there too. Because they're offshore banking cartels. That's what it is. And then they want us to get in a war with Libya and Iran now. <laughs> we already did enough with Iraq, man. For almost 10 fucking years of this life. I mean, I might not like the military and shit like that, but you know, I don't to support any of that, you know? I'm sorry. And if any of you guys are going to be saying, oh, fuck you, you're an asshole, you do that. No, fuck you too, bro. Because you know what? <laughs> It's bullshit what the government does to your family, especially the parents out there that are fighting for our asses, you know. It's all about Ponzi scheme. That's what it is. That's why the officers from Wall Street, they get paid for all that shit. They get paid to, like, arrest hit innocent bystanders and people like you and me. And then, I don't know if any of you guys saw the McDonald's beating attacks. That shows you how this country is going to shit, literally. Straight the fuck out down the proverbial shit. It's been hit the fam. <laughs> Financially, of course. Once physically and mentally this shit happens, and emotionally, which has probably already happened already, that bomb set off a long ass time ago. We're basically fucked with a capital F. But, um, yes, I'm not sick either, I'm just a little stuffed up. But, um, yeah, as far as all that goes, the politics and everything, you know, it's not all about capitalism. It's all about the banksters, mafias, and all that. They're the ones that are trying to take over the country, let alone the planet world that we live in as Earth, you know. It all comes down to commodity and gold and silver. That's what it really comes down to. And, uh, yeah, basically that's all I had to say about the financial terrorism and shit like that, which is sad, but it's the sad way of America we're living now. But um, I will see you when I see you, deuces, and um, check me out on Steam, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and um, you can try and check me out on DeviantArt and Ustream, but I'm not there as much. Oh, also check out Twitch TV, any of my video game fans out there. Very much love, very much appreciate it. I'm out of here, deuces, and um, let's live another day, people. That's all I got to say. God bless. I'm fucking out of here. Late.